Friends, a user asked, how do you create a two-color keychain with our Bamboo Labs printers? Face down and it prints fast. I've got a strategy, so let's get crack it. So step one is to find your text. I have went to fontmeme.com and I'm going to make it with this lion's text. Now I'm going to use an image of it. If I do a quick shortcut, I can screen capture this. I'm going to grab the part I care about, which is just the text. Notice I have got some parts to erase. I'm going to do that with the eraser, but before I do that, I'm going to set the image canvas color. And then when I go to the eraser, I can go pop, pop to erase those chunks. Notice it instantly fills in with the color that I had for that background. So I can simply hit finish and I've got it set to automatically save as a JPEG to my Dropbox. If you haven't checked out Snagit, I do highly recommend it. When you have your image set, we go to picksvg.com, upload the picture. There it is. I can click OK to bring it in. It starts with Edge 2. I do not want this one. I want the one that is totally filled in, and my favorite is usually Internal 2. When I hit Download SVG, I'm going to save it to my Downloads folder, and I'm going to call it L Logo for Lions Logo. At this point, we can bounce to Tinkercad.com. I always choose Sign In with Google. This is the home page. I'm going to simply click Create. Brand new 3D design. Let's start by changing the file name. You simply click, and I'm going to put Lions, and I'm going to put a 5 because I've done this more than once. Now we can move over to the Import tool, and let's find that logo. Remember, I put mine in the Downloads folder, so I can simply hit Open. I only want the art. And right now it's 287 millimeters. That's way too long for what I'm going to do. I'm going to type 65 millimeters and press enter and let it import. Bingo. There is our fun Lions logo. Now I usually make keychains about 7 centimeters. If we click on this, you'll notice this is 65. Watch how we get to the 7 centimeters. We're going to do control D. I'm going to set it to outer line. Fault line measurement is 5. I'll change that in a moment. You can see it is kind of funny when it first snaps in there. I'm going to set that instead to 2 millimeters. I'm going to change it to round and I'm going to maximize the quality. Bingo! We have got a nice outline for our keychain design. Now remember this user wants to print this super fast, so I'm going to show you those steps too. So here is the 2 millimeters for my keychain. Here is the two millimeters for this inside because we're going to flip this and then we also need to fill in this hole. We could click on this one and do control D and set it to silhouette. After a moment you can see that fills in that hole. All right so we've got those parts created. I'm going to just show you these little glitches. I'm going to get rid of those by changing this. I'm going to try 2.5 so the keychain is just a little bit larger. This may end up being nicer because I'll have more room for the keychain hole wherever I decide to put it. And you can see it does take a moment and that filled in those gaps. I think I'm actually even going to go all the way to three just because then I've got more room out here on the corner for the hole. Once again, you do have to wait for that to happen. Now we want to lock the words. I'm going to do that by clicking on them. See, this one is the silhouette. I'm going to make that gray. Now I'm going to hold down shift and select the outside of the keychain. So I've got those two shapes and I'm going to group them. So now we'll have that total outside. And then if we click in here, we can find our words that I'm going to make a custom blue just because it looks cool. Now these are merged together at the moment because they are in the exact same location. Let me show you the steps for getting this to print quickly and upside down. I'm going to click on the words. I'm going to move them to the very top by hitting work plane and hitting D to drop. Now, when we print, we usually use layers like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So I'm going to set this to 0.4 millimeters thick, and then I'm going to sink it in 0.4 millimeters. So if I change to 0.1, I can click on it and do control down arrow, one, two, three, four. So now it is even with that area. Now this is where we get even smarter. We are going to do control D. We're going to take the second one and make it a hole. And then since we've got that hole selected, we're going to shift select the outside and do control G to group. 
or we could have used the group button. That will cut out the area where the other part was, so now our word shows up completely. Friends, now it's time to add the whole. Let's start by doing work plane and putting it down on the bottom. I also do not want to cut into the L with the hole, so let me show you how we're going to fix that. We are going to cut that hole with a simple cylinder, of course, bring it out, maximize the sides, and then we're going to hold, shift, and shrink it. And then I always use size 5 for my keychain hole. And I'm just going to add a cylinder that goes around this. Control D, switch this one to a solid. And I'm going to do shift stretch so that it stays round. Set the height to 2. And move this into place so that I think I'm going to like it. Notice I can squeeze it with the black handles to get the exact design I want. But then I'm going to have to do some fancy ungrouping. So I'm going to lock the L because it's perfect and I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to ungroup that lion's back plate because we do want to cut in those words again. I'm going to do one more stretch just to give this a little bit more strength on this edge. And now when we select all those four shapes and group them, we have got our keychain with the fancy letters and the L. Let's set it to an awesome gray. Let's do show all to bring back the lions. I think that's going to look absolutely awesome. So now let's get this ready for 3D printing. We are going to export the STL. Notice it only was the selected shape. It is not the word lions yet. I am putting it in my 3D modeling folder. This will be keychain 5 and this is the base that I'm exporting. Click save on that. Switch to the words. Unlock it. And let's do export. Once again, selected shape, STL, still 3D modeling, and this one is going to be words. Now we can move to Bamboo Studio. We can simply hit create brand new project, and we need to add the files. Of course, they're right at the top of my 3D modeling folder, so I can select both of them and choose open. I want a single object, multiple parts. This was one of the problems the user stated they were having. This makes alignment easy peasy. Notice when it came in, it says it has non-manifold edges. I am going to hit repair and let it do its thing. Sometimes I skip this, but today we'll do it. Usually this just helps with those thin edges. Now I'm going to quickly get my colors set right. I swapped the orange to an awesome blue from Epax. I'm going to set this to generic high speed PLA and I'm going to pick the color blue. It is similar to this one right here, and I'm going to confirm. So I've got blue, gray, and black. We've got options for how to make this. Now I can move back to prepare. I am going to sync the AMS because I want those colors to show up. Notice currently it has the blue as the outside. I'm going to set my outside as black. We do that by going into the objects. I'm going to click on the base, click, and switch to the color black. With that completed, I'm going to go to the words and I'm going to click and I'm going to switch to that high speed blue that is in number one, which it was already set as. If we zoom in, you can see all the little tails look fantastic. The final step is the user wanted to print it face down. So I'm going to simply grab the shape and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. Notice if you stay close, it's got those nice lines to snap to. Back to the global settings, I'm going to stay with point do standard and click slice plate and print plate. Double check those colors. I am happy. I'm going to skip the time lapse just because this is so thin and upside down and we can simply send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, it'll move to the device menu. After it completes downloading, we can click play and monitor everything from afar. And about 20 minutes later, let's see what we built friends a detroit lions keychain how cool is that friends there you have it simple steps to make awesome multicolor keychains using your bamboo labs 3d printer and tinkercad of course friends i want to say thanks to mr moonlight for the question i also want to thank all of my supporters on patreon it has been so awesome watching that community grow of course you can look below and find more information about it as well finally friends don't forget every time you watch the video 
Click like, add a comment, or share it with somebody else. You're making HL Mod Tech get just a little bit larger, which absolutely makes my day. And of course, friends, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering.